good morning. Today is, fix this little hair, uh, is Thursday, July 18th, and we have birthdays today. Today is Ines, Ines, I-N-E-S, Ines, I say it wrong every year, don't I? I'm so sorry. Ines, Turnway. I think it's Ines, Ines, Ines. Let me know in the comment. I know she's a regular subscriber. She's been with me forever. <laughs> and I probably have it written down somewhere. But I want to put it in my calendar so I say it right next year. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Ennis. Happy birthday to you. Cha -cha -cha. I know that was wrong, but it's still your birthday. It's also Jeanette. Her channel name is Jeanette from Canada. So, Jeanette, happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Jeanette. Happy birthday to you. Cha -cha -cha. And Michelle Mistra, M-E-S-T-R-E. -E, Michelle. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Michelle. Happy birthday to you. Cha -cha -cha. Well, I hope the both, all three of you have a great, great birthday. Um, we have one anniversary, but I don't know what your significant other's name is. Anna Marie Papaya, P-A-P-A-I-A. Today's her anniversary. Happy anniversary, happy anniversary, happy anniversary, happy anniversary. Happy, 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 happy anniversary. Happy, 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 happy anniversary. Well, I hope you have a great, great anniversary today. And let me know what your hubby or your significant other's name is so I can put it in my calendar for next year. Um... As you notice, we're not outside. I could be outside. It's beautiful. It's only 73. It's nice and cool. It's beautiful out there. But we're doing Oliver's birthday today. <laughs> so I got lots to do. I still got to go to the grocery store to get the meat. Because I like to get the meat fresh on the day I'm going to use it. Um, I'm not really... I'm, I don't really freeze a lot of meat in the... Free a chicken I freeze. But I don't, I don't like... I don't... You know... I'm not a big... Like my beef and... No... No, I just, I don't know. Poultry, I'll freeze. But other things, I don't. Especially a ground beef. Any kind of ground beef I've ever got, when I take it out of the freezer, I don't know what I'm doing wrong, but it always turns brown, like kind of a grayish looking. And then once you take the gray layer off, it's pink inside, so it looks normal. But that gray is just enough to turn me off. So I never freeze burger. Never. Um, and so I got to get some burger for my sauce. And we'll get my sauce cooking. Because uh, uh, Oliver was 12 on October 12th. No, October 20th. Oh, my gosh. Sandy, wake up. He was 12 on June 25th. I know that. Why did I say October? I just got October on my mind. Jimmy and Jim's birthday's in October. But, no, Oliver's birthday, he was 12 on June 25th. But we're doing, we finally are able to do his birthday today. So we're going to do his birthday today. And then um, i got to get the sauce and all that made. Uh, unfortunately, we had to bring Mary to the emergency room this morning. Christy dropped her off at the hospital. Uh, the hospital is right next door to the uh, homes where she's staying. And uh, so it'll be nice because uh, Don will be able to just walk over there if they admit her. But when she went to the doctors yesterday, they said her... Iron levels were really low. <clears throat> they were talking about having her have a, another transfusion. And she was supposed to go downtown Detroit today for a family meeting about her liver transplant. But uh, she woke up not feeling well and coming up both ends and just all confused and not knowing what was going on. Dan was really kind of scared, so he called Christy. So um, I'll probably be heading over there sometime today in between making my sauce and getting everything ready for the birthday dinner tonight. And um, <clears throat> so if you could say some prayers for Mary. This unfortunately is her pattern this year. It seems like um, this is her fifth hospital stay, I think. And what it usually comes down to is she goes to the hospital, stays in the hospital for a week. Then she goes to rehab for three weeks, comes home for three weeks, and then back to the hospital. So she's been doing this like... I don't know. We never, nobody out was, we were all, because when she's there now, we were all saying it. We were all thinking it, but nobody wanted to say it out loud. <laughs> that, you know, she should be going to the hospital anytime soon, because this is what happens with her. So, and I just see Jim is pulling up now, so I'm going to be going to the Kroger's now. And then hopefully at some point today, I'll be able to get outside and start, not start, but continue reading with my West with giraffes. It's a different kind of read for me, but you know what? I kind of like it. 
Um, somebody had asked if I had watched Water for Ele not watched read Water for Elephants, and I did read that. That was a good book too, which was a little off track from what I normally read. But um, you know, I, I have to delve into different things every once in a while. Can't always be about murder. <laughs> I know how to do all of that, but um, not that I'm going to murder anybody. I don't have any plans to do that. But you never know. No, no, we know. I'm not going to kill anybody. Um, but I've already set the tables. I got both tables set, and uh, talked to Christy, and uh, she needed me to send her a copy of Mary's medications, and so I did that so she could give them to the emergency room. And that's going to do it. So. Uh, my brother's up north, and so he said, should I come home? And I go, no, I think this is just part of Mary's pattern. If anything's serious, I'll let you know. You know, enjoy your little vacation for now, because it's just a matter of city. Uh, my sister, Bar my sister-in-law, Barb, is supposed to have surgery for her heart valve replacement. She's in the hospital again because she was having chest pains the other day when she was at her nursing home, or rehab center, whatever you want to call it. And um, they wanted to move up her surgery because it was originally supposed to be August 8th. So they were going to move it up. Yeah, thank you. There was this one branch that was just bugging me, just hanging, and Jim is cutting it down now. <laughs> Nosy body that I am. But um, anyway, um, so she they were going to move her surgery up, but she's got really bad, bad, bad teeth, and they noticed how bad her teeth were. So um, she has to go to the dentist first, so I'm sure her surgery is going to be pushed back. Ron's surgery was pushed back because of his thyroid. Um... So if you can continue your prayers, I, I you know, I, I just really do, I'm a strong believer in prayer, and I really think it makes a difference, but add to your prayer list, have Mary and Ron and Barb, always Doug, you know, until he gets everything all reversed and everything, you know, with his his uh, treatment. Edie's mom, if she continues to do well, I guess she's doing pretty good. And, uh, and for Edie, so that Edie will have peace and finding a new church, and finding one that's going to work for her. I know that's a really hard decision. I know that's going to be really hard for her. You get settled in. We had the best priest pastor ever, <clears throat> and then he had a heart attack, and they felt that the church was too big for him, and they moved him to a smaller parish. And then she, they brought us in another priest that uh, is uh, very political, makes his views very well known and makes you feel like if you don't vote for the way he wants you to vote that you're going to go to hell in a handbasket. Maybe not even in a handbasket, you're just going to go to hell because you don't vote for the right guy. So, uh, I, you know, somebody had asked him after Mass one time about the separation of church and state and he jumped all over, <laughs> he jumped all over on that guy. So everybody, they're afraid of him. He's just, so I understand what Dee Dee's going through. Um, one of the reasons I don't go to church as much anymore, not that I don't go at all, but I mean not that I don't go that much, is I just, I can't sit through his mass and listen to him. And the other uh, churches, which I agree, the other churches just don't make me feel welcome. And uh, if it wasn't for the fact that the, pre the church that my priest did go to is so far away, I would just go over to his parish. I really would, but it's over an hour away and I just you know passed my 45 minute limit now <laughs> of driving but uh it's just so say some prayers for Edie that she lands in a good place because I felt so bad for her watching her video yesterday because uh she's I mean she's got everything going on with her mom and you know like she has to hold the family together I, I can I understand that concept and that but Edie I pray for you every day I do I pray for everybody but I had thrown some extra prayers and threw them your way <laughs> just so that you, you could use them. So um, I got to get moving with my day. And then uh, I will show you the party for Oliver's birthday. And uh, Samantha won't be here because she's getting some teeth pulled tonight. But Kathleen and her boyfriend, uh, Dan, will be here. So we have, we'll have a full crowd. And there he comes. Here he comes. Walking down the street. What you gonna say? You get plenty of looks from everybody we see. Yo, we meet. All right, we gotta get going. There's Mr. Gary hey. and Denise. Nobody on oh, there's Kylie. Okay, let's go. We're having lasagna for Oliver's birthday with a salad. 
and some bread. Oh, where am I going to sit? Let me sit over here. There's the birthday boy. Birthday Oliver. The birthday man. And there's Sophia, whose papa wanted her to cut the grass, but we forgot to tell her. Aww. And then the other people no, coming like in the other way. Slowly but surely. <laughs> He's only pleasant for so long. Yeah. You haven't heard him go up, up and down the stairs. <laughs> okay, gotta turn the light off. Okay. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday to you. you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Oliver. Happy birthday to you. Cha-cha-cha. There you go. Ooh, he did it all in one breath. Did it really Yay. well.